So we are at the new super training gym. As you can see in the background here, it's still in, in the process. They put a lot of work, I think, getting the equipment over here and all of that. Um, but uh, yeah, it's starting to take some form and shape. So I think probably one, just about one of the first guests that, that Mark's brought in uh, to the gym here. So pretty cool to see it. And, and um, I think it'll be neat to see how it develops over time and, and what they actually turn it into. But uh, yeah, it's, it's awesome, man. It's, it's a lot of fun. So we uh, just, just finished up a podcast um, earlier. So it flew in this morning podcast. Now we're getting some pictures done. Um, Hopefully some more eating is coming soon. Uh, Mark, I need to remind him about eating normally. Um, just one of those things that for whatever reason, eating isn't in the schedule. All these different things happen, but eating time isn't in the schedule, I guess. So uh, anyway, uh, I try, try, to, try to remind him, see? Everybody laughs because they know that's true. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's pretty acting like Brian yeah. Shaw's here right now. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so no, we're we're having a good time. Um, get that done. I'm not sure what is coming next. Really, uh, we'll get the pictures done, and then, uh, um, yeah, ho hopefully keep having fun. Yeah. Cool. Pretty big. Done with uh, day one out here at the new ST, and we are uh, packing up, heading back to uh, the the uh, Slanger Mansion, <laughs> Mark and Andy's house, to kind of hang out and um, I'm, sh I'm sure talk a little bit, and then we'll probably again try to find some food. So it's kind of a common theme all the time: food, food here, food there. But a lot of fun. It was really cool getting to see this today, and um, feel like we had an awesome podcast and had uh, some good good uh, content in the gym. And hopefully tomorrow's even better. Heading back to my house, taking the Slayer Mobile to the Slayer Mansion. All right, guys, so getting ready here to get in a quick training session with uh, Kaylor Woolham. So he's, uh, if, you, if you don't know who that is, he's, he's pulled some massive deadlifts, uh, set a couple records recently, and um, he's got a meet coming up. Um, he's uh, primarily in competition, he pulls sumo, so he's gonna work today, I think, on a little bit of a variation of some sumo deadlifts. I'm uh, just gonna pull some triples against bands, so should be kind of fun, man. I mean, he's, uh, He's crazy uh, with deadlifts, so I'm excited to see what he can do and um, have some fun myself, get a little bit of training in here at the new Super Training Gym. It's a good, good pull, man. It looks strong. It's, it's, uh, I was saying his, his range of motion is crazy um, because of the way he's built. The bar doesn't have to move very far, which is 
he's maximized it. I mean, he's getting it into a really good position. So strong pull, and it looks looks like a lot more left there, not not even close to max there. So I mean, it's awesome. He's good puller like that. Sumo puller, awesome. I mean, world record holder. So hard to hard to uh, critique that too much at all. Man. good we're just having some fun uh, I'm gonna weigh out what the bands actually are here I think I've got my little luggage scale with me to do that I'm not sure what they are they're actually adding a little bit more than I thought they would being looped the way they are um, so we'll see it'll be kind of a surprise to find out what those are but uh, overall feeling good feeling good
pretty awesome. You know, you feel obligated to just do a really good job. And it's hard not to because he's so motivating to be around. Um, that was one thing I noticed when I was doing my deadlifts over there a second ago. Like, I was like, all right, like, I'm kind of ready to go. And then Brian stepped over there and I was like, oh shit, like, I have to do this. You know what I mean? Like, it was just. It was just really nice to have him in my presence and just to kind of, just because of kind of who he is and just kind of, I don't know, makes you feel like you have to. And it's just like, it just, it's just a little bit of an extra drive. It's really nice. Have you ever so. trained with somebody who deadlifts as much as him? Never. I've never like even shared a bar. I mean, I can't remember the last time I shared a bar with somebody on deadlift. So this is, this is fun. You know, it's pretty fun. So training went really good here. I'm, uh, like I said, we cut, st obviously stuck to the game plan. That's exactly what I wanted to do. I wanted to work up to where the uh, bar was feeling a little bit, a little bit uh, more challenging for me to move, but I was still moving it quickly. Uh, we ended up uh, bringing out the scale, measuring the band tension. So I had uh, my last sets here, um, roughly 170 pounds of band tension on the bar. So. The last, uh, my working sets essentially were down around 750 pounds, um, give or take a couple pounds there, but uh, um, felt good. I mean, I feel like that's a good working weight for triples here, keeping the bar speed high. And we're building up. I mean, this is kind of the start here, um, building up to some really big numbers uh, in 2018 is the goal. So uh, feeling good. I feel good about it, having a lot of fun. We've been having a lot of things going on uh, this weekend and, and um, getting a lot of good things uh, accomplished outside of the training and getting training on top is even better. So really excited about where, um, where a lot of things are going right now um, and uh, a lot, lot of uh, um, doors to open and things to explore and uh, feeling really good.